Ever wondered if a coin dropped from the top of the Burj Khalifa could kill someone? That's the question we're tackling today. Imagine standing atop the towering Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building that reaches up into the sky at a staggering 2,717 feet. Now picture a simple coin, a tiny piece of metal, being dropped from this dizzying height. What could it do as it plummets towards the ground? Let's dive into the physics behind this thought-provoking question. First, we need to understand the basic physics of falling objects. Let's start with gravity, an unseen force that pulls objects towards the center of the Earth. This force is what makes objects fall when they're dropped. But it's not the only force at play. When an object, like a coin, begins to fall, it also contends with air resistance. Picture it like a gentle invisible hand pushing upwards against the object. Because a coin is small and flat, it has quite a bit of surface area relative to its mass which means it meets a lot of air resistance on the way down. Now, as the coin falls, it accelerates due to gravity picking up speed, but at the same time the air resistance against it also increases. Eventually, these two forces, gravity pulling down and air resistance pushing up, balance out. When this happens, the coin stops accelerating and continues to fall at a constant speed. This is what we call the terminal velocity. Terminal velocity acts like a speed limit for falling objects. No matter how high you drop a coin from, once it reaches its terminal velocity, it won't go any faster. So with these physics concepts in mind, what happens when a coin drops from the Burj Khalifa? Now, imagine a coin plummeting down from the top of the Burj Khalifa. Picture that shiny piece of currency tumbling through the air, rushing towards the ground below. Given its small mass and surface area, this coin would reach its terminal velocity rather swiftly. Terminal velocity, remember, is the maximum speed at which an object can fall through the atmosphere. For a coin, this speed isn't as high as you might think. Its flat, round shape creates more air resistance than a streamlined object, slowing its descent. And its lightweight means that even at top speed, it's not packing a lot of punch. You see, the force of impact isn't just about speed, it's also about mass. And a coin, no matter how fast it's falling simply doesn't have the mass to deliver a lethal blow. So a coin dropped from the top of the Burj Khalifa would not kill someone. But what about other objects? What about something larger or heavier than a coin? Let's take a moment to ponder on that. Larger or heavier objects like a bowling ball for instance, would indeed have a higher terminal velocity. This means they would fall faster and potentially cause more damage upon impact. But remember, the air resistance also increases with the size and shape of the object, limiting the speed at which it falls. What's more, the likelihood of such a scenario occurring is extremely rare and unlikely. Think about it. How often do you see someone casually carrying a bowling ball to the top of the Burj Khalifa, or any other large object for that matter? It's just not a typical situation. So, while it's an interesting thought experiment, it's safe to say that you don't need to worry about falling coins when visiting the Burj Khalifa. After all, the real thrill is the view from the top, not the physics experiments.